Hello. Uh, some people asked me to do a tutorial for uh, BBO uh, lava scarings, and uh, finally I uh, found some time to do this. Uh, we start directly with the tuning for this uh, song. Uh, we are in open G tuning. That means when uh, I play the open strings, I already have a G major chord. Um, the strings are tuned like this D, then G, D, G, B, and D. So you have to tune down the low E string to D, the A string down to G. You leave the next three uh, strings um, at normal tuning, like uh, D, G and B. And you tune down the high E string to D. Okay, uh, we can uh, take a look uh, to the sheets. Uh, okay, I have to change it here. Okay, um, I found uh, the tabs for the song on Ultimate Guitar and um, it's a Guitar Pro tab. I edited uh, just a few minor things and um, you find the whole tab on Ultimate Guitar, uh, but you have to uh, get Guitar Pro um, to, to open it. But um, I show it on the screen, so um, perhaps that's enough. Okay, as you see, we start uh, with only open strings. Um, we play, so we don't need the left hand for the main pattern. Uh, we start with the thumb at the A string, then I use the index finger for G. Then the next one is uh, D and B together. The D string with uh, with the thumb and the B string with the middle finger. Then again, G with index, B middle, G index. That's the main pattern uh, for for most parts. Um, you can uh, only concentrate on this uh, on this pattern. you get it and then, then you can move on. One and two and three and one and two and three and thumb index, thumb middle index, middle index. Once again slow. Then the first um, first uh, chord we have to uh, fret is, uh, it looks like an A minor 7. Of course uh, with the different tuning it's a different chord, but we go don't get too deep into this. Uh, the f uh, pattern for the right hand is exactly the same as before. We only have to uh, put our index finger uh, of the left hand um, on the first fret of the B string and the middle finger on the second fret on, on the D string. One and two and three and. And at first you can uh, change, um, change only these two bars. It's um, always the same for the beginning. Then the next time you fret this uh, A minor seven like uh, shape, um, we have a little vari variation. Um, we have to put the f uh, little finger um, on the fourth fret of the high E string um, on the um, timing of uh, free end. It means uh, the beginning is all the same like before, but uh, we have to change it uh, for the last note. One and two and sorry, wrong wrong chord. One and two and three and 
Um, this is tricky to uh, to thread because um, it's far away and you co could lose uh, one of the fingers before. It's much easier when you have this uh, classical position. Um, you can play it uh, with, an, with a normal uh, position, uh, but it's very hard to get this, uh, this note wide. So uh, I play it from the beginning to this part. And then uh, we um, lift all the fingers and um, this is um, exactly the same um, pattern we have in the beginning with one uh, difference and uh, we play on the first stroke uh, we play um, the high E string together with the uh, bass tone with the um, A string. So it's is the same as before. Um, I play it one more from the beginning. Okay, and um, then you repeat it um, like four times. Um, I always count how often I play this fourth fret on the high E string. It's like one time, then back to this uh, measure, second time, third time, and then uh, we move on to another ending. So uh, three times uh, we play, play the high E string with the fourth fret, fret and then the next time we we get to this A minor 7 shape. Then we are uh, in the fourth ending. One and two and three and... Um, we have a little hammer on on, on the um, on the timing of three. It's one and two and three, and then hammer on with the A minor seven shape. And um, then for for the ending, you have um, here on the tabs it's uh, A string, G string, B string. Uh, I uh, don't look that I do it exactly like this. Sometimes I only play the A string and B string or different strings because it's it's the open tuning. Um, it doesn't matter so much. Um, and then uh, f for, to get into the next part, uh, we don't let let this chord ring the whole time. Um, we play um, the G and the D string. Um, to fill fill this uh, little little space, so I start again with the fourth ending from here, and two and three and that's the whole A part the first part of the song. Then we get to the next part. We have uh, to fret um, different uh, strings. We go higher on the fretboard. Um, it looks a little bit uh, like a um, D7 Bowie chord, but um, now with open strings. And um, I take my index finger for the fifth fret on the A string, my wing finger on the seventh fret on the D string, and my little finger on the seventh fret on the B string, and uh, you have to make sure that the um, open um, G string will ring, and of course the high E string also, because it's uh, very often that you, uh, when you um, fret the um, notes too, uh, yeah, too um, straight, then you. Um, 
stops uh, the string um, beside. Yeah. And uh, the picking pattern uh, for the right hand is uh, the same we had before. We have A, G, D and uh, B together. G, B, G. Again, make sure you use the right fingers for the right hand. It's thumb, index, thumb and middle, index, middle, index. Again, before you continue, uh, uh, we will try to uh, practice this, that it sounds as clear as possible. And on the second measure here, we have uh, a little variation again. Um, I uh, get out my little finger from the 7th fret on the B string higher to the 8th string to the 8th fret. And then I play the high E string with my wing finger and um, again the G string with the index. The whole measure here, it's the two measures together. again you play it two times and uh, then we get back to the a part to the beginning Okay, then again uh, the four uh, repetitions of the A part and then we get uh, to the C part. Uh, this is a more difficult part because it's uh, more complicated for the left hand. Um, first, before we get into the patterns um, for the right hand, um, I'll show you how to thread uh, the right chords. The first one, in the first measure here on the part, is only a very on the seventh fret with your index finger. Then uh, your index finger stays here, but your wing finger uh, will get on the ninth fret on the uh, low E string. Then I move to the fifth fret with my index, and um, that's really far away. The little finger gets to the um, to the ninth fret on the high E string. That's really hard. You need some practice, and it's even harder when you have this position. Okay, uh, then for the next measure, we uh, keep our index finger in the fifth fret and um, add the wing finger on the seventh fret on the low E string. That's the main, uh, main chords we have to get. Okay, um, then we get uh, into the picking pattern. I'll start with the thumb on the A string and the wing finger on the high E string. And my index finger is uh, again uh, responsible for the G string. Then thumb for the D string and middle finger for the B string. Index, wing finger, index. It's like uh, you have um, uh, your index finger always for the uh, G string, middle finger for the B string and uh, wing finger for the high E string. And the thumb alternates between the uh, bass tones. Okay, that's the first measure. One and two and three and. 
then next uh, we um, have the uh, bass tone on the uh, low E string, but the rest of the pattern uh, stays the same. It's only this one note that uh, changes. From the start, it's then on to the next chord, the same picking, uh, picking pattern, and the last chord. Once again, the whole uh, four uh, measures here. Okay, then <clears throat> for the next three uh, lines we have nearly the, the same thing, uh, only a few variations. Um, for example, here on the uh, second measure, uh, we uh, don't play eight notes, we play only um, quarter notes. The first measure is the uh, same. Okay, uh, we have also a little variation here. Uh, we get here high from, uh, from the G to the B to the uh, high E string. Then the second uh, chord. One, two, three. It's a uh, thumb and middle finger. Index, middle. So it was thumb and ring finger. Index, middle. The first two measures. One and two and three and one, two, three. Then we we would move on. Uh, the next two measures are the same, like before. <coughs> and uh, on to the next line. One and two and three and. We leave out the uh, double no uh, uh, notes here. Um, we only play uh, the D string and then also again hi uh, higher to the G, to the B, to the E. One and two and three and. One and two and three and the third measure and the last one. Okay, um, I try to play uh, these uh, three lines for you. Um, it's a little bit harder. Um, I haven't practiced it a long time, and it's harder on the um, acoustic guitar than on the electric. That's what I meant. It's really hard to fret. Okay, that's it with this part, and then we go directly to the next part. Um, we start again with with an with the open strings. One and two and three and again for the first uh, note, um, I use the thumb and the wing finger to get the A and the high E string. Index, thumb, middle, index, middle, wing. Um, the next one is uh, nearly the same we had before with the A minor sh shape, but we also fret the second fret on the A string. So I use the middle finger for uh, second fret on the A string, the wing finger, like an E minor uh, chord, for the second wing, uh, second fret on the D string, and my index goes to the first fret on the B string. And as you see, it's the same picking pattern than before. 
Then for the next uh, measure I uh, move the whole chord two uh, frets uh, up. So uh, I, I don't have um, the middle finger in the second fret, it, um, I orientate on the fourth fret. The first three measures um, together. And then for the last measure, uh, I move the whole chord up one fret and I remove the index finger. Um, so I only have left my middle finger on the fifth fret on the A string and my ring finger on the fifth fret on the D string. And it's uh, again the same picking. Except the last note, but you see it on your own here. The whole uh, line here. faster then for the next uh, two lines you have uh, only um, slight variations um, nothing too serious uh, you could figure it out on your own but I play it slowly um, uh, the whole form measures starting with the second line same the last note on the, on the G string and then from here to here again and the next one Okay, then we move on to the next part. There you also have uh, the bow thing on the seventh fret with your index finger, starting with the A string. Um, and we have to add uh, the twelfth, twelfth uh, fret uh, with our little finger again. One and two and three and one. For the right hand, um, I stay with uh, with my fingers uh, for for the strings. Um, I stay with the index finger for the uh, G string, middle finger B string, uh, ring finger for the high E string, and uh, I so I have to uh, play the A and the D string, the first two notes with my thumb. Thumb, thumb, index, middle, ring, 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 middle, index, thumb. you play it two times. Ah, sorry. Okay, and then uh, we go back uh, to the first part, to the A part. Then when we get back to this part, um, I don't uh, play these uh, notes here uh, um, to get to the next part because uh, there really is a, is a cut in the mood and uh, in the idea of the song. Um, so we end with the first first note here, and then we are in the last part. It's this one. Um, we mainly play uh, play notes on the A and the B string. Um, 
as you see, um, the first one is the fifth fret on the A string and the B string. I use my middle finger for the A string and my wing finger for the uh, B string. Then I move up two frets to the seventh. And then the next chord is uh, middle finger on the ninth fret and my index on the eight. Five, seven, nine and eight. Then the, um, the same, um, same voicings backwards, up, back. Then the next one is five, seven, open. And for the last one, um, middle finger uh, second fret on the A string and index finger first fret on the B string. Move up two frets and then open again. The first four uh, measures are Then the next uh, one is five, seven, nine and eight. Then we get uh, higher to the 12th fret. Again, middle finger and wing finger. Nine and eight. And five again. Uh, yeah. Then again, five, seven, open, two, one, uh, four, three, open. And then we have uh, here in the end um, also a little wa variation. Um, it's this little melody. Open G string with your index finger, then open D string uh, with the thumb and uh, play a hammer on with the second fret. And directly after this, again, the uh, G-string with your index. Uh, index. That was the easy part <laughs> of the outro. Um, then we, we move on. It's, uh, it's mainly the uh, same shapes for the left hand, but the right hand plays uh, some notes in between. Um, we have mainly uh, the open G string between each uh, each note we play. And then in the end uh, we have the high E string with your index finger, uh, sorry, with your wing finger, middle finger for the B string and index for G. You don't have to change the left hand because the third one here is the right shape. The first measure, it's uh, once again slow. Then backwards. Um, here you can make uh, make a slide. Um, you can leave it out um, however you like it. And in the end, uh, we have here with the open strings, uh, we have only G, G, A, index, index, bar. Uh, and the next one, again, two, one, slide two, two, three, and four. And then open. Okay, I start here and play it uh, to this position slowly. Okay, and then we have uh, mainly. Uh, 
repetitions of the pass before. I start here, play it slowly, then you can follow. And as before, up to the 12th fret. And um, then the last time, I think it's the last time we play these chords, it's from here. For the last uh, chord, I just play a flageolet on the 12th fret. If you don't know what a flageolet is, um, I put my index finger um, really softly on the strings, directly uh, above uh, the, um, the fret, uh, not between the frets, uh, it's really directly above this thing here. <laughs> and playing with my thumb, uh, starting with the A string. And then you can remove your finger, uh, the sound will uh, continue. Okay, <clears throat> I hope this helps you a little bit um, getting through the song. Um, perhaps um, one more thing, uh, this is the version um, he plays uh, on YouTube uh, with only one guitar. The album ver version is a little bit different, It's uh, two guitars or perhaps more um, play, uh, pl uh, playing those mel uh, melodies and um, this is a different version. Um, I wouldn't stick to uh, to all of this um, fing finger wings too much uh, because at some parts when you hit a, di a different string, string by accident it's it's not so so much a problem like uh, when you play plays perhaps this part, when I make something different. It still sounds good. Of course the melody on the high strings uh, gets lost a little bit, but uh, no one will notice um, when he doesn't know the original song too well. So, um, have fun and goodbye.